and I have to share my screen. Here we go. Can everyone see that? Hopefully. It's loading. There you go. Yep, there we go. Okay. Had a brief, I thought my computer was going to combust there for a second. That would not have been good. Um, all right, perfect. Um, well, thank you all for, for joining us tonight. Uh, my name is Laura Ludwig. I'm a senior community planner um, and also the group manager of our planning and design group um, at HRG. Um, HRG does a lot of work uh, with South Fayette Township, a lot of park and rec stuff, and we are currently in the process of working on the comprehensive plan update. So um, here with me tonight, I also have uh, Summer Schneller, one of our community planners. Um, and she is sort of our main tech person this evening. So she will be handling like the breakout rooms and she set up the Miro boards and everything that we'll be using this evening. Um, and then we also have Chris Sarson. Uh, she's a land planner and landscape architect um, with HRG in our planning and design group. And lastly, Lori Morgan, who is a community planner uh, in our planning and design group as well. Um, Hmm. Doesn't want to go to the next slide. Hold on. I got it. There we go. All right. Uh, so just briefly wanted to go over the agenda uh, tonight, uh, some things we want to cover, and then we have some uh, what we think are really fun activities planned for everyone to participate in. Um, so we'll review briefly some of the tasks that we've completed to date uh, related to the comprehensive plan and some of those efforts. We'll also discuss uh, some next steps uh, that are part of the process. Um, you know, obviously tonight's official public kickoff meeting is one of those. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, the purpose and goals for tonight's public meeting. So we have a SWOT exercise we want to do, um, and then also some character preference board voting. Um, and then we'll allot uh, Q&A at the end, of course, uh, for other comments, general questions, uh, things of that nature. So some of the items that we completed to date as part of the comprehensive plan update for the township, um, we did a community tour and day of interviews um, last year around this time. It was held in April. Uh, we also prepared a trends report that looked at some census data and some various trends, you know, from economics to population to commuting and things like that. Uh, we've been conducting stakeholder interviews, and that's from a list of key stakeholders in the community that uh, uh, the township staff gave us, um, and those are ongoing. We've uh, we're done with a little more than half of those, um, and we will continue to work on those uh, throughout this spring. Uh, we also completed an online survey last summer uh, that was live in July. Um, and, and we have uh, some results that we'll share of the trends report today, a little bit of the online survey. Um, those are also on the website. And then we did also attend two neighborhood pop-up events last year. We went um, in August to the concert in the park, which was a ton of fun. Um, and then also uh, the library's event, Beer for Books, um, in September at Helicon Brewing. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to Lori now, and she's going to talk a little bit about the trends report. Good evening. So like Laura said, the trends report was completed and it reflects kind of an overview of South Fayette Township to just to give a picture of demographics, socioeconomic data and some community characteristics. Um, I'm going to give a quick snapshot of just a few of those pieces of data this evening, but you can find the complete report on the township's website if you're interested in more detail. So despite a decline in Allegheny County's population, South Fayette has actually experienced a 31% increase in population over the past 20 years. And this is expected to continue, this growth is expected to continue through at least 2025. Um, the population is fairly evenly distributed by age group with a median population of just about 41 years old and a median household income of just under 87,000. Uh, next slide. So there's a significant commuter population in the township, and this can be seen by the slightly lower daytime population than the total population with um, a large number of people leaving the township for work. Um, this is also reflected in a mean travel to work time of 28.7 minutes. 
um, and 84% of the residents choose to drive alone in their car. Um, when they get done with this uh, long commute, though, they can enjoy over our 435 acres of parkland. Uh, next slide. And South Fayette has the third largest number of housing units in the area with 6,485 units, most of which are single family uh, homes with a median value of about $248,000. Um, so like I said, this is just a really quick snippet of what is included in a much larger report that can be found on the township's website. Uh, currently, the report includes 2019 values, but that's because the decennial, 2020 decennial census data was not um, completely available at the time it was created. So we'll be working on updating these values in the near future, but we don't expect any significant changes to the report. And so I'll send it over to Chris. Chris, you're muted. <laughs> Thanks. Um, the survey was conducted online um, and we also had paper copies available for those who wanted. There were 20 questions on the survey and we received a large number of responses, more than 700 people in the township responded. And 20% of those provided contact information to be notified of the um, meetings and goings on with the plan. You can find the results of the survey similar to the trends report on the website, on the township website, where it was also advertised as well. But we'll just go over a few of those right now. Um, 728, it was the exact number that completed the survey. Of those 38 worked and lived in the township and 12 worked but did not live in the township and the rest were residents. Most had lived in the township for a good number of years. So even with the rapid growth of South Fayette Township, we had several long-term residents respond. Um, 288 had been living in South Fayette for more than 15 years. You can see some of the top preferences for what people preferred for the development that's going on in the township. Restaurants is right at the top. And there are you know, a lot of restaurant developments going on right now that are responding to that need. And the next most important were clothing and retail stores and sports venues. The land use that, this is specific to the Southern Beltway and the development that's expected to occur around it. Our data was gathered before the opening of the Southern Beltway. So that presents a lot of opportunity for this plan to provide information to the decision makers who will guide development. And so one of our questions focused on that, uh, most preferred retail or commercial development around the Southern Beltway, followed by mixed use residential and commercial. We also had questions that specifically addressed business owners and wanted to know what were the important factors in deciding whether to do business in the township. And most said uh, the taxes and millage was the most important issue, followed by the huge opportunity in South Fayette for growth and development. And a general question about the improvements that were most important to residents and business owners of the township. And you can see that uh, there's a, uh, a large number of things that people think could be developed further in South Fayette. Traffic was one of the most important issues that was noted and attracting new businesses and employers. And then in addition to the survey, we attended a couple of events to make contact with people and find out what people in South Fayette are thinking. And we did, um, we, while enjoying the event, we got to meet several residents and people that were visiting just for the event. We went to the concert in the park in Fairview Park, and it was a really fun event. Um, and we brought with us the dream box. And the dream box is just a general comment box where people could tell us what their dreams are for the township and their lives in the township. And here you can see some of the responses that we received from that. Recreation was right at the top. 
Um, as you know, Safayette is investing a lot in recreation development right now. Then uh, safety in and around Fairview Park. And some of these responses might have been very specific to Fairview Park because the event was held in Fairview Park. So people that tend to use it a lot probably were attending. Um, followed by general community amenities and transportation. And the second event, as Laura said, we attended the Beer for Books event at Helicon Brewery, and we did a similar type of activity. So at this event, we had a lot of people commenting on new and improved space that's needed for the library, more parks and indoor recreation specifically. And I'll turn it over to Laura for the next steps that we'll be completing for the plan. Yeah, so a lot of what we've done to date so far is part of the first phase of the plan, which is really just sort of visioning outreach and needs assessment. So um, we will kind of be finishing up that phase, I would say, within the next month or so, um, and then sort of diving more into uh, phase two, uh, which is the actual, you know, plan development. We work on implementation, goals, strategies, and, and capacity building. Um, so we did do uh, some updates uh, to the Board of Commissioners and also to the Planning Commission um, this year so far. Uh, like I said, mentioned previously, we're working to finish up the stakeholder interviews with the key stakeholders. Um, the township has selected a project steering committee made up of members of the community and various uh, you know, board and commission members and also residents. Um, so we do plan to have a kickoff meeting with them, hopefully um, in June sometime, um, where we can share with them some of the results of tonight's meeting and, and really start talking more about uh, you know, the plan development and what needs to be included in that plan. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over to Summer now and she's gonna talk about uh, some of the activities that we have planned for you this evening. Now for the fun part. Um, today, we're gonna be doing two activities that hopefully will go well. Bear with us, this is a, a new software for us so we're still learning it. So if there are any hiccups, yeah, just like we're just gonna roll with the punches today. So um, we're gonna have these two activities, the SWOT analysis and character preference boards, and then we'll be able to turn it open for a question and answer with uh, the folks at HRG and, and among the group here today. Um, so I will run through the instructions now for Miro. It's an online tool, you use it on your, like a web page. Um, I will say that it is best done on a laptop, a desktop or a tablet. It's not that easy to use on phone. You can certainly try, but if you have the ability to use a laptop or a desktop or tablet, I highly recommend it. Um, you will be able to view a page and interact on that page by yourself, and you can see how other people are interacting. You don't have to worry, though, if you scroll around or move around the page, you will not be affecting it for anybody else. So you are certainly welcome to look as close as you want at whatever you want on the pages, um, feel free, get as close as you need. Um, so for this first activity, we will, which we will cover in, the, in a little bit, you'll be able to move post-it notes onto different parts of the screen. So you just click and drag them to drop them. And then you can double click the notes, notes to type in comments that we will uh, guide you with in a little bit. Uh, you can right click to delete or remove the post-it and you can also put comments on other people's post-its. So if there's something that somebody else says that you're like, wow, I really agree or I really disagree with that, feel free to put a comment if you want. Um, if you do not have uh, an, a way to participate in these activities, you're certainly still welcome to participate. Um, if there's something you want uh, one of us to put on the pages, feel free to let us know and we can enter them for, for you. So SWOT exercise, SWOT is an acronym. It stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So what this usually does is we take a topic and we analyze uh, that topic for, from four different perspectives. Strengths being what is it, what does that thing do well? So in this case, the township, what does our township do well? What, uh, what resources does the township leverage, et cetera? Uh, weaknesses, where, where could we improve? What could we be doing better? What, what do we lack in terms of resources to be able to improve? Um, opportunities, what are things that might indicate growth in the future, might become a strength for us? 
um, or what things we can leverage to become a more uh, useful part of the community for growth. And then threats, what are things hindering us from being able to do and to grow and succeed with the strengths that we have? Um, or what is hindering us from uh, the progress that we might be trying to achieve? So that is roughly what a SWOT is. We ran a little quick uh, example here with some of the HRG cats. Um, so for example, for cats as the topic, a strength could be that they don't really need to be walked and that they're very independent. A weakness could be that they're not as friendly as dogs um, and that they have a litter box, which is a poop box in the house. There's opportunities like you can teach it to use a toilet and it has been done or there's self-cleaning litter robots, so you don't even have to worry about the litter in your house. And the threats could be that they are sassy sometimes and they do get cat hair all over your house. So that's just a little demo breakdown of how this kind of works out. Um, and you will see something very similar to this on our Miro board, where you will be able to put those kinds of uh, notes in the categories that are respective to what those features would be. So that is the SWOT. Now we're going to be talking quickly about the character preferencing exercise, which is uh, you will be shown images that reflect types of development or redevelopment in the township, and you will be able to vote on which ones you like the most per category. You can also choose none of these if none of them seem to be what you're seeing or envisioning for your community. That is totally good. You will have up to three votes uh, per panel per category, and the categories will include commercial slash industrial slash office park. We got corridor development. We got housing, mixed use, and retail slash commercial. So maybe skip the the grinds, churn in, like start thinking about what that could possibly look like, and what you would like to see preemptively in in a few minutes down the line. All right. Laura, you're muted. Sorry, I was just saying I was going to stop share. <laughs> um, so I think when I counted before we did the presentation, we had about 21 people-ish. Something. Yeah, 20. So maybe two groups of 10 plus two of us in each of those groups. Yep, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. So um, I'm going to have uh, all of us break into automatic breakout groups with two of the HRG folks in each team. And uh, just bear with us for that little transition. Um, we will send out a link at that point for you guys to be able to utilize the tools that we're gonna be using today. So let's go ahead and make the breakout rooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. All right, I'm going to open the rooms. So there should be an option for you to join them. And uh, we will see you on the flip side. I will send a message out when we're done. All right, good to see everyone here. I'll just give it a little while for everyone to get settled and then I will send out a link so we can work on this activity. All right, I'm gonna send out a link. Uh, you guys can click the link. You don't have to sign into anything. You will just be able to automatically interact with the page. So when you get in, you should see something similar to what we saw on the PowerPoint screens. And I have Chris here, we're gonna help. If you have any questions or need any help, just let us know. So everyone should see that link in their chat. If you can't find it, look at the bottom of your screen. There's a little speech bubble that says chat. Click on that and on the side of your screen, you should see something open with um, the link that Summer just sent out. All right. Looking like we got a couple people in here. We got about six in, in the Miro. I think that's a good place to get started. Um, so I can just demonstrate real quick for everyone. Um,
You can click a post-it and you can probably see me moving the post-it now on the screen and I can write something and now it says something. You can zoom in really far if you need to, if it's the text is really small for you. And you can also change the size of the post-it if you really maybe wanna emphasize something, but uh, that's pretty much the whole premise. So um, why don't we, should we go category by category, Chris, or should we just kind of let them, yeah? Okay. Let's start with strengths and then it'll be easier if someone has questions. Yeah, that's a good idea. So you can zoom in on the green board to focus on strengths. You will have to zoom back out again to grab a post-it note. Strengths can be anything about the township, for example, the park system or the great municipal services that you enjoy the variety of businesses that are coming with development or the housing options. Could be the parks, could be the amenities at the parks. Really can interpret it however you see fit. I'm glad everybody has a lot of ideas. Yeah, it's already getting populated, which is great. And if some of those are small and you can't see them, feel free to zoom in. It won't affect anybody else's screen. If anybody in the group is, is not able to get in, yeah, please unmute and ask a question. Yeah, feel free to ask anything. Could I interrupt for just a moment? Yeah, for sure. Oh, great. Thank you. I didn't know if you heard me or not. I was not able to get on to the actual Zoom website and everything. So I'm just listening on my phone. So okay. I cannot see anything that is going on. If you could just you know, give me some quick blurbs as to what's going on a little bit, some of the post-it notes, some of the ideas and everything. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, can I feel like up. I'm sitting here in the dark, that's all. <laughs> I totally I'll understand. The ones that are already up, and why don't you tell us what you'd like to see on there? So far, we have the school district, close proximity to Pittsburgh via I-79, communications, I assume that's township communications. Andrea, you're getting some props. Desire for progress direct access to I-79 in the Southern Beltway, the library programs. And that's what we have so far. Is there anything you'd like us to add? I think all of those are good right now. Wonderful. I can, can we can continue to uh, let you know what is added per category. Okay, that'll be great. If yeah. something comes to mind, I will let you know. Great, wonderful. All right. It seems like we were maybe running low on strengths, so we could transition now to weaknesses. Um, it seems some people already started at, uh, filling in the other ones, which is totally okay. But let's focus on when you're done with your strengths, some weaknesses that you see within South uh, South Bay Township, and um, write down whatever your thoughts may be. Right now, we have no clear town center yet. Oh, good comment. Yeah. <laughs> One of the weaknesses, name confusion. People often think it is in Fayette County. We also have some traffic related comments about the interchange for I-79. Seems this is uh, working pretty well. If anyone else has any questions, feel free to ask it. Um, we're getting lack indoor community space for now. Okay, and does anyone who wasn't able to get on have any comments, strengths, or weaknesses that we haven't read yet? Okay. We can transition to opportunities now, I suppose. 
So yeah, let's focus on any opportunities you see for South Bay. At, what do you what do you think could be um, an area of growth for the community? So far, we have land available around the Southern Beltway. We have lack of apartment slash rental complexes to attract younger couples or families. Um, entertainment, live music, more restaurants, activities. That's currently what we've got. So far, these are some pretty, pretty good comments. parks do we have in South Fayette? We have six park properties and five developed parks. Well, okay. I was not sure about that number. That's mm -hmm. great. Thank you. So we have now Southern Beltway development, uh, more new construction neighborhoods, potential for Newberry. Great. Awesome. All right. Um, why don't we then transition to threats finally? And um, let's see, we already have a couple in here. So we have competition for residents. Other townships have more already for long-term residents. We have traffic infrastructure isn't made to, to sustain continued development. Toll bridge on I-79, Bridgeville exit, that, that seems to be proposed. It's not current. Um, extremely expensive housing and taxes. Bridge tolling that will impact business development. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing two comments about the bridge tolling here. Um, residents moving into Washington County to escape the high taxes. Yeah, it seems taxes and these tolls seem to be a common theme for at least the threats from what I can see. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, this is really great guys. It's consistent with a lot of things that we've already heard in some of our other public outreach efforts, but also a lot of very specific and good ideas on here that we'll be able to use. So thanks everyone who's contributing. And uh, if you have any other comments about this activity or questions, feel free to, we can field them now um, while the other team is probably finishing up this activity. Uh, yeah. I just want to say this was a great idea to do the Miro interface. I, I really like this system. Great. Yeah, we're trying to integrate it more now, seeing that everything's becoming hybrid, virtual. So hopefully this works out so that we can do it in the future. Great. Let's give it a couple more minutes, maybe two minutes, um, and then we can kind of close this off and head back into the main group. Um, but so yeah, this is great. Um, and they're all anonymous, so you don't have to worry. Uh, and we'll have these saved for us to use in the future for future needs, I guess. And anyone that wasn't able to connect or to get on the website, is there anything that you need us to add for you? 
Some of the notes that are being added are the weaknesses. Increasing population has an effect on the schools. Some people move away um, when their kids graduate. Some strengths, the support of youth programs and sports in the township and parks with many fields for different sports. The township is good at getting grants. Some of the opportunities are entertainment. The park in Morgan could be further development or have further development. A new threat, failing to build needed facilities would hinder progress. I'm impressed these are some really great comments. Yeah. <laughs> do we have some professional planners in the group? Some people know what they're talking about. <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> it seems that the other group is still working. Um, so no rush. Uh, if you come think of something else, feel free to put it on the board at any point. Uh, even after we transition off this exercise, if you come up with something, that's great. Um, Does anyone have questions about any comments that have been made? Okay. I have to read this comment on strengths because I love it. Great mojo with new developments. <laughs> yes, South Fayette has great mojo. <laughs> That's a good way to describe South Fayette. Also, South Fayette's regional reputation is a premier and up and coming community. All right. Looking good. I was just checking on the other groups and we're definitely doing better, but it's not a competition, but we're definitely doing better. <laughs> just, just so you know, you guys are the best. Yeah, you're actually the, the, the better team. <laughs> I'm gonna be closing the breakout rooms. So hopefully is this this is a good time. If you think of something later on that you wish you would put on here, you can put it in the chat and I'll make sure it gets added. All right, I'm going to hop back in the main chat now. And we're back. All right. It's like magic. It's like magic. Were, were you guys done in breakout room one a little quicker than breakout room two, huh? 
Yeah, we had a couple of people trickling in some ideas after those. So it wasn't a necessary. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I see people like might still be writing on ours as well. So good. Yeah, everyone's welcome to continue to add comments on their board if you remember or come up with something that just like didn't occur to you until now. So all good. Um, Laura, do you think it's good to transition to the last, this next activity? Yeah. All yeah. right. So this next one we're gonna do as a whole team, it's pretty straightforward. We're mostly gonna be doing some voting. Um, same website, I'm gonna send you out another link and you're gonna see five categories on the screen. So once we're all in, I can kind of quickly walk through it, but it's pretty straightforward with how this works. Does everyone see the link in the chat? Okay. All right, I'll wait a little while until we get like a nice quantity. So as you see, there's gonna be images uh, based on different categories. Um, feel free, you can zoom all the way in uh, to get a better idea of what the pictures are of. Um, and what we'll have you do in a moment, we'll conduct a voting where you can click on the pictures, the top three pictures that you would like to see in South Fayette for that category. And we'll go category by category. Um, and if you don't really like any of them, you are welcome to vote for none of these. You also don't need to use all three votes if you don't want to. You can click that I'm finished if you don't wanna vote for three. If there's like only one that you like, all good. All right, I'm gonna start the voting. And if you off. pick none of these, you can, um you know, tell us during the Q&A, maybe why you didn't like these and, um, you know, what you what other types of things you might like to see in its place. Okay, I'm going to start the voting with commercial industrial office part. So you're going to hit join voting when a little screen will come up. And you can now click on three of them that you like the best. So navigate to the blue board. That's the one we're voting on right now. Yeah, commercial industrial office. Yeah. Okay, so far we have four participants. So I'm attempting, to, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm attempting to vote, but I can't see. Um, it won't let me because I'm on my phone. Okay. Yeah. We can vote for you. Can, yeah, can, if you can tell us which ones. How do I get back to that picture? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> can you add more time, Summer? Okay, or, I could see. In a minute. Okay, so the one in the upper right-hand corner. Okay. Maybe Laura, why don't you do the voting? Sure, I can do it. Upper right, upper right hand corner, on this on the first row. Okay. On the second row, the first one. Okay, on the left. Yeah, on the left. Okay. And then on the bottom row, the one on the right. One on the right. Okay, got it. Anyone else needs us to do that for you too? Just let us know. We can vote. Yeah, it says eight of twelve now. So I've got a few more. Okay. It looks like the voting ended. I'm not sure why I didn't click anything, but from the vote, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Love technology. Since <So> magic. <laughs> So it seems we got the most votes for that one on the second row on the left. Um, and then second best was bottom right. So that's great. Um, mm -hmm. So that's awesome. We're gonna transition now over to the next category, which is corridor development. And if anyone needs us to vote for them again, uh, like the last one, just let us know. And here you go. Okay, so we're on the lavender colored board. And once you hit join voting, it'll move you right to that board. So 
It should anyway. It should. doesn't for yeah. me. Yeah. I'm still not seeing my join voting little button. So if you don't mind voting for me. Sure. Don't again, mind at all. I can do it again. <laughs> okay. The top right hand corner. Top right. Okay. Um the one on the left, the very far left on the middle on the second row. And then there the one on the very one. far left on the third row as well. Thank you. Yep, got it. Just a couple more minutes. Seems like it, everyone's kind of getting the hang of it on this round. So the, the next three should be a breeze. All right. Is everybody in or anyone need a little more time? I'm gonna take the silence as we are done. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got a tie for first place on this one. Um, so we've got the the first first row all the way to the right that one got nine votes and bottom left last row bottom left got nine votes as well so that's very helpful information all right any comments on that before we move on to the next one all right i'm going to take that silence as a no all right now we're going on to housing i'm going to start that poll up in a second now all right, now everyone's a professional, so this should go really smooth. What's up, Deb? <laughs> That's okay, Deb, I got you. <laughs> you tell me which ones you like. <laughs> um, I, I like the, the one on the very, very, very bottom um, on the left there with the people okay. walking. Okay. And I also like the row above it on the far right-hand side. Okay. With the trees uh, mm -hmm. and, the, and the house with the red door. Yeah. And what was the other one? <laughs> well, I kind of like the guy fixing the house because to make it prettier. Because we have some houses here that could use a little bit of work. Mm hmm See so you comment here. Click that one. That one. You want but me to no, click no, that no, one? No, 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 no. I was just kidding. But I also like that the one in the middle of the second row down middle. For, for mixed housing. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. Hold on. I got to go back. I somehow got kicked out of that summer. Did that happen yeah. to anyone else? Something did happen. Does yeah, everyone need to revote? I don't know. It's saying that there's like still a time on it. So, I see yeah, I see that too. All right, I think we might need to do the revote then. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. It like timed out. Oh, I see it. Wait, if you go back up here, uh, I there's see. fourteen. So I might give it the twelve seconds and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> I see it counting down up there, but yeah. Yeah, so it just prepared the results. All right, great. So for housing, we got seven votes on the third row, uh, bottom right. Uh, we got five for bottom left, that very last row. And then in third place, we had third row all the way on the left. All right. And we might just want to note when we do do those results, Deb wanted that one in the middle of the second row. I never got to it because it timed me out. Okay. Maybe like write a little note down. I can make that change. Yeah. All righty. Let's move on to mixed use. Okay. 
Here we go. Deb, if you uh, would like any of us to do it for you again, feel free. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, the bottom row, the one that has Sophia's, please. Mm -hmm. And then the one right beside it. Okay. To the left. And the top. No, yeah. Um, this is mixed use. So the second row down with the people sitting on the porch or sitting on the patio. Got it. All right, I'll give it a little bit more time. All right, I'm gonna end the session. All right, let's see what we got. Eight votes. All right, eight votes for, let's see, eight votes we got for um, the third row on the left. Okay, mm -hmm. we got a tie for second place with the people sitting at that little cafe table and Sophia's for second. And then for third, we have the bottom left. It looks like a restaurant of some sort. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, now we're gonna to transition to the final voting and then we are done with uh, complicated computer activities. <laughs> All right, here we go. If I could have my scribe uh, <laughs> give me uh, my votes for, let's see here. Second row down, the one in the middle. Okay, gotcha. Last row, the one on the left. Yeah. And second row to the right. The far right. Yep, got it. Okay, a couple more seconds here. Well, someone did note in the chat on that last one, I think, or maybe for the housing one that some of it looked familiar as a Hastings resident. <laughs> We're we try not, not to use any homes, but from other towns. Other <laughs> yeah, towns. we tried not to use any from Hastings. Yeah. <laughs> but we have before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Ending the session. All right, let's take a quick look. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got 11 Ooh. votes for top left. And then we got a tie for second with middle row, middle picture, and bottom row, left picture. Great. Wow, 11 votes, so that's great. Okay, awesome. Well, I think it's the string it. lights. What yeah, I think it's the <laughs> string lights make anything look better. I know, they're just so cool. Um, great. All right. So, yeah, you guys can hop out of that whenever you're ready. Um, and we'll do a wrap up here with the Q&A. Yep, so we'll close out of that. Yeah, we figured we'd take these last few minutes and just sort of talk about anything that comes to mind for all of you. Just sort of listen. If you have questions, uh, we're happy to try to address them um, and answer them. Uh, if you have other comments or want to elaborate a little bit more on uh, any of the items you said in the SWOT, um, 
you know, or any of the character preference boards that you just saw, um, just sort of time for more of a general and open discussion uh, to kind of end our evening together, so. I would Maybe just you guys like just want to go watch the Pens game. I don't know. Oh, what'd you say? <laughs> what'd you say? I, just to, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, your help in letting me participate and for being so thorough with investigating the community's well, desires. Uh, yeah, I had a sandwich. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, um, I'm glad everybody had fun. Um, it was. We tried to make it interactive and exciting and um, hopefully we'll get to do, um, you know, some other activities in person soon again. Um, so, um, I think more things will be forthcoming. I think you'll start to see, uh, we'll look and, and post some of the results, uh, from the SWAT. Right now. I was trying to get um, it on a meeting. So the, so the township can share those on the website and, uh, the voting and everything. And maybe that's something we can open up to the broader community as well um, in the future to also vote on. So, um, so we're looking into some of those options as well, but really most looking forward to kind of getting to work with the steering committee uh, on starting to, to really truly strategize on, on some goals and, and some things that we can address uh, moving forward within the plan. So. Are there any other comments, questions, concerns, ideas that you have for us on other things we can do? I mean, we are we are open. It's a, it's a blank canvas. We we obviously do various things in all different kinds of communities, but uh, we're happy to hear suggestions that you all might have as well. Do we know of any new businesses aside from those that have already been pretty widely announced that are coming to Newberry or the new development beside like Duncan and Sunoco at this point or any, uh, you know, new construction neighborhoods that are going to be beginning development soon? I know Andrea is on the call here from the township. I don't know if you want to take that one, Andrea. Uh, um, I'm Andrea Igler, the communications director. Um, the most recent one, which you may or may not have heard of in Newberry, is Tesla. That's what's um, underway next to Carvana on the Newberry site. Um, across the street near the Sunoco, you mentioned um, there's a Taco Bell that's planned there. On the uh, Piazza site um, where Star City used to be, um, that's the, um, you've probably heard of the uh, Firebirds and the Primantes. There's also a waxing center and a um, hair salon studios place. Um, as far as residential, um, along Battle Ridge Road, there's a neighborhood called Stone Gate that's underway. If you see kind of some construction going on there, that's what's going in there. That's what that neighborhood's called. Um, there's a, um, the former Wheel restaurant on Washington Pike is going to be opening June 2nd as the Empanada Company. Some South Fayette residents are starting a restaurant with Argentinian uh, empanadas. Um, those are the main ones that come to mind initially. I, I can add to it. Uh, can you hear me okay? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can I can add a little bit on the development side, and then I also have some questions, comments about um, the, some of the process that's left. Um, so, on in addition to the ones that Andrea just mentioned, um, there's also site plan approval for uh, Pro Bike and Run with a, ch a Chula restaurant mm -hmm. uh, at the former Formo site. Um, there's also a um, there was receipt acknowledged of a site plan request at the planning level for um, a uh, fast food restaurant at the corner um, across from Washington Financial and Duncan at the Piazza site. Um, the developer Burns and Scallo has expanded their, their land uh, that they have access to. So there, there'll be a fast food restaurant added at that corner as well. They, they'll be before planning next month. Um, on the Newberry side, um, we are developing Tesla right now um, th with the uh, preferred developer that uh, has a lease with Tesla. Um, they're expected to ribbon cut by the end of October. Um, so this can be a pretty fast construction project. 
Um, we signed a letter of intent today for a deal that uh, they're hoping to um, hoping to open this year. So it'd be a pretty fast planning and approval process uh, in between the sewer authority and uh, Top Golf. Uh, be a um, cigar bar, um, a pretty large scale cigar uh, bar and restaurant. Um, and there's a couple other things that Newberry's currently negotiating, but I'm not sure where exactly they'll they'll head. But those that's that one's the most definitive. Um, I saw a comment about Chula. Um, uh, it looks like Andrea answered it in the chat. Um, mm -hmm. I understand that they're still looking at that site uh, to potentially expand it uh, and, and do more with that with that corner, but their site plan approval right now is Chula and Pro Bike and Run. Um, I, I had a question about uh, process going forward. You had mentioned um, there was a comment about meeting with the zoning hearing board. I'm, I'm on the zoning board. I know one of the issues is that uh, we only meet if there's an application before us and we mm -hmm. haven't had meetings the last two months. Um, I, I know that I was speaking for myself. I'm sure the other members feel the same way. If, if there continues to be no applications for variance requests, for example, we could schedule a meeting um, or come in for our come in for our regularly scheduled session just to meet with you. Yes, yeah, because we're certainly open to that. And I know sometimes, you know, you might have three or four applications. That's a long night for you. You probably yeah. don't want to stick around after and, and talk to yeah. us. Um, so yeah, um, we're happy to do that um, either on another night or um, something over Zoom, uh, you know, really any time of day, whatever's convenient for folks, uh, we could choose another evening. Um, or yeah, if you do have applications uh, upcoming here within the next couple of months, happy to meet then too. So um, yeah, we're yeah. certainly open to that and want to meet with you all so we've had two months off so yeah it's been a while. um and then on that note um is any part of the survey that's been done on the legislative side or a comparative with surrounding communities as to whether or not we are um in line progressive in front of or behind the times on things like zoning um you know signage lighting, those sorts of things. Um, I just didn't know if that was part of the process that was being reviewed. Yeah, so we will definitely take a look at your ordinances um, as we're developing the plan and make some recommendations on maybe, you know, potential changes and whatnot. Um, so that's something we'll look at. I know signage has been mentioned previously. Um, in terms of like comparisons to other communities, yeah, we have, and, and we did include with, in the trends report, I think a small section uh, where it compared South Fayette to like some other uh, rapidly growing communities within Western PA, so Cranberry, Pine Township, a few others. So there's a small section um, in the trends report that does look at that. But yeah, we sort of have, you know, we we write zoning ordinances as well and subdivision land development ordinances. So we kind of have our select few that we kind of look to as like good examples or, or ones that we've done and completed recently. And we try to stay pretty current on some of those zoning trends like land use terms and just hot topics in zoning. So um, that's certainly something Thing we'll look at as part of this process for sure. Well, that's great. Um, I, that also there was comments in at least in our breakout session about um, public transportation or lack thereof in the area. I can also um, I've been in the meetings with Port Authority to to work on a routing system throughout South Fayette that would route busing through in or in and around the the, the Piazza Newberry corridor. Um, to to provide um, some some mobility to have public transit um, within the community. Mm -hmm. And those discussions they're ongoing or yeah that we so I represent the developer for Newberry and mm -hmm. we we provided a, a proposed flow uh, through the through the Newberry uh, development and Port Authority runs their their traffic review study their engineers <clears throat> that's been uh we reversed the the flow at one point so it's now they're looking at a separate a different direction um they have certain metrics that have to be met as to um for mostly for driver um safety and things like that that there's lighting and there's a rest restroom uh for the the, the transit time frames things like that so um we're working with top golf 
and talking to BJ's about access to restrooms and stops by those, for example. Um, so it's, we don't expect it to be fast, but it's, we've, the maps have been exchanged. We've, we've explained what the, what the road system looks like now, what it may look in the future, depending on some of the developments and things like that. So um, we're probably due for a check-in in the next month or so, but I would expect it over mm -hmm. the next year, maybe that, that the routing gets a little bit modified. That's already over this way. Okay. Well, that's good. I don't news. expect, a, I, I don't expect a park and ride like we had. Um, but I do, I, I could see um, pick up drop off spots in a couple different okay. spots in and around that area. BJ's and Top Golf specifically wanted for workers and for mm -hmm. worker safety. They, they currently walk quite a distance to get to work from the, okay. from the closest drop off. Okay. That's a great update. Are you on our key stakeholder list? Maybe you should make Adam. We're going to add him, Andrea. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy to. I, I'm sure a few of the, I'm sure a few of the developers. I, I see John Allen's on here as well. Um, mm -hmm. We we talk mm -hmm. we talk pretty regularly between um, Kosky, the Newberry team, which I'm on, uh, Burns and Scallo. Um, I haven't talked to John Deckwell in a little while, but we talk we talk pretty regularly. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I could ask a quick question, did you say that you were on the zoning planning committee also, or the zoning board or something? I'm on the zoning hearing board, yeah. You're on the zoning hearing board, okay. Correct. Any other comments or, or questions, concerns? So in terms of next steps, you know, just to kind of wrap up, we'll um, share some of the results and comments uh, from tonight uh, with Andrea and she'll get them up on the website here shortly. Uh, we'll be meeting with the steering committee and kind of kicking off with them hopefully in June. Um, and hopefully do another public meeting, I don't know, probably summer-ish at some point um, to, to maybe share some more stuff and, and do some more interactive activities. So um, as we start to uh, develop some elements and parts of the plan itself. Um, so some of that outreach may focus on specific topic areas or concerns, there may be follow-up surveys. So um, we'll work with the township and Andrea and, and spread the word as, as those opportunities and, and stuff arise, so. Well, thank you all for your time tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, this was fun, I'm glad everything worked out. Most for the most part with the mirror boards, it was, it was fun. I'm glad uh, some of you were able to move them around yourself and type. So that was really great. So thank you all. Thank and you, to HRG, on behalf of thank the you. Thank you, HRG. All thank right. you. Bye. Welcome. <laughs> all right. Take <Thank> care. <laughs>